I wanted to give you an update on my intermittent fasting journey. So just to tell you a little bit about myself, I am 47. I am five foot seven inches tall. I've given birth to six children and I started out my weight loss journey with calorie counting. I was 150 pounds at my top and I am now 128 pounds. I did start out with calorie counting, but I absolutely hated it. I felt guilty every time I ate the wrong food, if I ate junk food, if I ate dessert, anything like that. Calorie counting for me just took all the joy out of eating, all just all the pleasure, all everything. I just, I hated it so much. I did lose about 10 pounds calorie counting. Um, and I don't know, I, I probably lost a little more than that, but then I, I gained it back when I quit and it was really hard for me. After watching a few of Jennifer L. Scott's videos on intermittent fasting, she's the daily connoisseur, I decided like, okay, we're very similar height and weight and all of that. And so I thought maybe I could try this. And that's what got me started. I started with an 18-6 fast, so fast for 18 hours each for a, in a six hour window. And in that six hour window, I normally eat two meals. I, so I have lunch at one. So my fasting window is from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I eat lunch at one and then I eat again around six um, and I just stop eating by 7 p.m. For me, intermittent fasting is like the container method of decluttering. When you have the container method, you have this set container and anything that fits inside that container is kept and if it doesn't fit, then you declutter it. And that's, that's exactly what intermittent fasting is for me. I can eat whatever I want as long as I eat within this window. And then it doesn't matter, I don't have to pay attention to anything else, it's just just the time frame, which means I never feel like I'm missing out. Like if, if the family's eating something, if they're going out to ice cream, I can eat it as long as it's in my window. If it's not in my window, it's okay. I just, I know I can eat tomorrow and, and I can eat whatever I want tomorrow. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm not upset. I don't feel all those negative feelings that I had before when I was trying to count calories. Before I get into all the details of my intermittent fasting journey, uh, I would like to say that I am not a professional. And so I'm just here to share my experience as an average person and what I've gone through. So if you're looking into intermittent fasting, you know, do your own research, seek a professional for advice, especially if you have health concerns. And I would also like to tell you about the sponsor of this week's video. Before recommending anything, I wanna make sure that it's something I would use. So as soon as Fastic reached out to me, I downloaded the app and took the quiz. It turned out that it's exactly what I needed to be consistent with my fasting plan. I love that it keeps me on track and I enjoy that the app tells me what my body goes through during each stage of fasting, three hours, nine hours, 11 hours, etc. Fastic makes it easy to be consistent with fasting and it's helpful whether you're a beginner or advanced. Intermittent fasting keeps things simple. It's really just splitting up our days between eating times and times when we don't eat. One of my favorite things about it is that I don't have to worry about what I eat, how much, or following a certain plan, restricting myself. I eat whatever I want. I just keep it in my eating window. Fasting promotes regeneration and detoxification. It slows down the aging process. It boosts our energy and focus and also helps our immune system and can protect us against illnesses like heart disease. Using the Fastic app, makes it easier to follow a plan, lose weight, and develop healthy habits. All you have to do is follow the link in my video description, go through a short quiz with your height, weight, age, etc. You'll get a personalized fasting and meal plan. Then you can relax because the app will remind you about your eating and fasting times. If you don't know what to eat, don't worry. Fastic covers that too. You can find more than 400 simple and delicious recipes 
in the app. Please use the link in my description to take the quiz and start enjoying the benefits of intermittent fasting. I started intermittent fasting July 15th, 2022. So it's been about 10 months. At that time, I had I had lost about 10 pounds from counting calories. Um, and so I weighed 139 pounds. A few days into intermittent fasting, I realized that all my cravings were gone. It was, it was as if a switch had just been flipped in my mind, in my body. I wasn't craving things. I wasn't thinking about food all the time. I wasn't planning out like, okay, when can I go through the drive through When can I, you know, eat a candy bar? For me, that was just absolutely amazing. Food has consumed most of my life. For most of my life, I've had a really high metabolism, so it didn't matter. And I could eat whatever I wanted, and it didn't affect me. But after my 40s, it did affect me, and I didn't know what to do about it because, you know, like most of my life, I had just eaten. I had just eaten, it didn't matter. So I went from craving all kinds of foods to just not caring. And I don't mean like not care, like I still love food. I still love a variety. I like ethnic foods. I like to bake things. I love bread. I, I love all the things, but I, I don't find myself consumed with thinking about them anymore. I'm not just desperate and craving. So it was really as if my brain was rewired. After three months on intermittent fasting, October 6, 2022, I was down to 128 pounds and I was so pleased with that. My understanding for the way that intermittent fasting works is that our body is always in a state of storing energy and using energy. When we eat, our blood sugar goes up, that's energy that our body can use. Some of us use it immediately and for some of us it's taken up into our cells to, and stored to use later. When we eat, the blood sugar goes up and the pancreas secretes insulin to control our blood sugar levels. When the blood sugar levels go down, the insulin levels go down and our bodies dip into the stored energy from our cells. First, it uses the sugar that was stored away. But if you continue to go without eating, the fat cells will release the energy that's stored there so that your body can use it and keep maintaining your energy levels. If we eat all the time, then our body is constantly using and storing the energy that we're giving it. But if we don't take a break from eating, then there's no chance for our body to use up any of the stored energy. It just stays stored. Then when our cells are overloaded with energy because we're just feeding it all the time, the cells try to protect themselves by becoming resistant to insulin. This makes the stored up energy harder to get to and our insulin levels increase and our bodies feel hungrier more often because it feels like we're in an energy crisis. We're not getting what we're normally getting and so we need to replenish our energy right away. The issue that this has in our body is more than just excess weight. Because we're consuming so much energy, our muscle cells get maxed out on their storage abilities. And then the energy starts getting stored into fat cells and liver cells, which causes a lot of health problems. Giving our body an extended break from consuming energy helps reset that. It helps, it gives the body time to use up the stored energy. And then the body becomes more sensitive to insulin, which makes that, does that hungry feeling decrease. It completely breaks the cycle of overeating and still feeling hungry. For myself, I went straight to an 18 hour fast. That seemed easier for me. I had tried a 14 hour fast at one point and it was not easy for me. And so I was, I was hesitant to do shorter. From what I've read and researched is that most changes take place after 16 hours. So between 16 and 24 hours, you see the most, the, the most significant changes in your body. I can only speak for myself, but I noticed that hungry feeling going away after only a few days. I think I was about three days in before I felt like it's not a problem. I'm, I don't have issues with 
feeling hungry constantly. It's not a distraction for me. To cope with the hungry feeling, I did what was called urge surfing, which is really just an understanding that our urges go away. We can procrastinate on those urges. And so if you feel hungry, you know, when we procrastinate with something else, like, ah, I'll do it later. So we feel hungry and then we think like, okay, that's fine, I'll eat later. I don't have to eat right now. Often I drink a glass of water and the feeling would go away within like less than 10 minutes and I'd move on with my life. It wasn't really a distraction for me. I was able to work and um, it didn't interfere with things. So, you know, if you're good at procrastinating, this is, this is a great way to use that skill. <laughs> anyway, that's the basic, that's my basic understanding of the process. Again, I'm not a professional. So if, if you're really curious on how fasting works, please do your own research. There's so much available out there and there's so many great YouTubers that are talking about this and giving real science-based information. I looked because I was curious as to why this just, it just switched for me so quickly of craving all these different foods to just being okay with not eating all the time. It was just, it was just absolutely amazing. So to get to back to my journey with it, I had dropped down by November of 2022 to 124 pounds. I was very pleased with how I was feeling. I had lots of energy. I had lots of mental clarity. It was going great. And then sometime in December, I decided that I really missed drinking coffee. I like my coffee with maple syrup and a little bit of milk or cream. Oh, it's just so good that way. And I knew if I used that, it would, it would break my fast. And that might impact the insulin sensitivity that I had developed with intermittent fasting, but I wanted coffee anyway. I, I did try to drink it black. I am not really a fan of black coffee and I can't drink coffee after noon or I won't sleep at night. And so far, I'm just not really a fan of decaf. Though I will drink it sometimes, it's just it's just not as good as my Ethiopian arty from our local roaster. <sighs> so I went back to my usual cup of coffee in the morning and I enjoyed it for about two months. Gradually, I noticed wanting more sweets again. I was still only eating in my six hour window, but I was thinking about food more and I was getting kind of lax on eating later and eating earlier. And I wasn't really paying attention. I started craving things like ice cream and donuts and I, like I can cook, I can bake and I made donuts. I made donuts several times and they were delicious. But I went back up to 130 pounds. So I had lost all that and I gained six pounds back. About two months ago, I acknowledged what was going on, um, that I was craving things again and I ended up giving up coffee again. But I still wasn't very consistent with my time window so I just stayed right there at 130 pounds, which honestly that's okay. But I had gotten very careless with my eating window and that's when Fastic came into the picture. And after using it for about a week, I realized that I was not hitting that 18 hour window, but maybe twice a week. The rest of the time it was um, somewhere around 14 hours, which just wasn't doing it for my body. I really wanted to keep the 18-6. That works, that works so well for me, for my, for how I schedule my days, all the things that I have going on. So to be honest, 130 pounds is fine for me. I'm not, I'm not in this to just lose a ton of weight and be super thin. I want to feel good, I wanna have lots of energy, and I don't want my stomach hanging over my pants. That's pretty much it, that's my, my goal. Like I don't really care how much I weigh as much as I care about how I feel and how I look. I have had six kids, so I'm like, unless I just go full into workout, I'm, I'm not carrying, I, I just don't care about getting some kind of six pack or having a super flat stomach. I just don't want a, a belly that's hanging over my pants because that's 
that's the way it was when I was 150 pounds. That's where I was going and I, I was uncomfortable with that. So Fastic was really instrumental in helping me get back on track and being consistent. And now I am back down to 128 pounds. So now my eating window is back between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. I eat whatever I want in there. Generally, it's two meals, and I don't stress about what I'm eating. I do try to include plenty of vegetables, which is gonna be easier now because we're heading into, into the garden season. I already have lettuce growing out in my garden, and, and so that part of it is, is going to be much easier. During my six hour window, I do not have restrictions on myself. I eat whatever I want, but I will say if I keep that six hour window, I don't crave food. I don't feel like I need to snack. I, I just don't think about it. So I end up eating less just because I'm, I'm just not consumed in my mind with what I'm going to eat. But I'm not super strict. On Tuesdays, we always have a later dinner. I end up eating, finishing by 7.30, 8 o'clock. Sometimes on the weekend, I'll wake up and cook a nice breakfast and eat three meals on a Saturday with my kids. So I don't stress about it. I don't want it to just rule my life. I don't want I don't want food to rule my life. I don't want dieting to rule my life. But I do find that intermittent fasting seems to be really good for my body. I feel good um, at um, a weight that I'm more comfortable with. And I'm not restricted. I'm not feeling like I'm missing out. I feel like I'm very alert and focused. And I have a lot of energy. And I've been able to be outside gardening. And I do whatever exercises I want to do, which is it's pretty minimal. But, um, but I don't feel sluggish at all. I, I feel like I am, I am doing great. I feel really good. I, I will say that about 10 o'clock every morning, I do feel a little bit of hunger. But it goes away. It's gone within 10 minutes. And I usually don't think about it again until it's time for lunch around 1 o'clock. If you would like to see the rest of my videos on intermittent fasting, I have them in a playlist and you can check that out right here. And remember to check out Fastic by following the link in my video description, going through their short quiz and getting your own personalized fasting plan today.